All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I am coming at you with a more traditional jungle this day, and that is going to be Jarvan. I haven't jungled Jarvan in forever. You know, I've been really playing with Jungle Gnosis, Jungle Morgana, and then some kind of off-color jungles. So this time I've decided, you know what? I really want to start going back to the more traditional bruiser, tanky junglers, the ones that I used to jungle uh, commonly. And so this time I decided to jungle Jarvan. Now not only is this is a jungle Jarvan vid, but this is how to recover vid from the fact that, well, you'll see shortly. So, yeah, Jarvan's one of those few that I have almost every skin available to the average player. You know, there's Victorious Jarvis, Jarvan, of course, which I don't have. But I do have all but the Dragon Slayer Jarvan, which I think looks a little ridiculous. And I don't know if I'll ever get it unless it goes on sale. So, yeah, there is that. But you're going to see right here very soon... What screws me over from the beginning? And of course, I'm against a jungle um, Warwick. I am looking to try and steal the red, but I'm not dumb enough to walk in. I see that Twitch is there, and I have no idea what Nolan was thinking. But, you know, we decide, I decide, you know what, let's just leave it alone. You know, they have guards, they know we're coming, they're going to bring reinforcements. So why don't we go down, he, you know, and I'll get my blue. Sure. No problem. Get the blue. Get the blue. Oops. Yep, I DC. And when I DC, my nephew DCs as well. Not every single freaking time, but pretty close. So Vi gets a lane all by herself, and there are jungles on the pose, and there's nobody to come out of the jungle. And this is going on three minutes now. Let's speed it up a little further. Four minutes, four minutes, and I finally come back. So my nephew, of course, is now suffering, and I am level one. Now Warwick just tried to gank, and now I've got to take down the jungle mobs by myself. I've got no assistance. But fortunately, you know, I am on Jarvan, and that's not a bad thing. Jarvan can do fairly well. I got to take a more traditional route, obviously. I can't go blue straight to red because I've had to smite down blue. So right now I'm just looking to try and get as much farm under my belt as I can. You know, Warwick is still playing around bottom and that kind of plays into my favor as long as he's not in his jungle uh, doing stuff. Doing stuff meaning farming. Then, you know, that gives me all that much more of a chance to catch up to him. You know, the more he dances around. And unfortunately, our mid goes down... Um, I think our mid was our pug. Yeah. Our mid was our pug. And we actually have Gunda and Nolan bottom. And of course my nephew Kili'i up at the top. So I'm low health. But I'm level 4. So not too bad. And we go and peek at Warwick right now. He just reached level 5. So. All things considered. Uh, I just reached level 4. I'm one level behind him. For being down as long as I was, not too bad. I'm really struggling to force the comeback. And she's trying to go top. Or he's trying to go top to make something happen, but it is warded. Not going to. Again, I'm just looking to uh, jungle. At this point, I'm just trying to pull lane experience. I don't want to push this lane, which is honestly rare for me. But because Ari died, I don't want to push it out. I want to try and keep it near her tower so that she can effectively farm it. And Fizz did try to make something happen bottom. It didn't work out, although bottom is forced to go back now. Ari does get into a little tangle with Fizz, but nothing happens. And of course, the bottom turret's being pushed, so I've got to get down there and try and save it. And... Well, they wouldn't have taken it anyway, so I don't know what I mean by save it. But I do push it out, and bot lane returns. And again, unfortunately, Ari loses. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not looking totally towards Ari at this point in terms of ganking. 
you know, she's already gone down twice. But again, I really don't want to push her lane. So I'm just trying to farm minions kind of like I'm a laner. Which, I'm still terrible at farming minions. But I have noticed that I'm a little bit better than I used to be. I'm actually able to last hit a little more consistently when I try. So that's pretty cool. Of course, as a jungler with um, the Mandred's Razors there, that's not as, as difficult as you think. But even without, because I actually played ADC on a couple uh, games, and I did okay. You know, it wasn't terrible. And through this entire game, at this point, you're going to see me do that. Yeah? You're going to see me toss my lance out like that. That's because I'm trying to throw my standard and then jump to the lance. I jump with the lance. And for some reason, the standard doesn't throw. That's going to happen more often in this game than should happen to anyone. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, a gank down bottom causes that. So they're trying to dive and I come in and I'm trying to trap Warwick. He gets hugeified and flashes out. So, eh, nothing came of it, but at least protected the tower. But we're down 3-0 to zero right now, so we're not off to the greatest start. Our min has already suffered two deaths, which probably means she's going to continue to suffer. And uh, our top, much like, you know, our top and myself, the jungler, we have both uh, started late in the game. So, we're trying to come from behind, and bot lane just died. So we're in a worse position than you think of than just being down um, three kills. Three kills, 2,000 gold should not make, pretty much. So why did I pick up Mandra's Razors instead of um, the Spirit Stone? Well, I was going to build a lantern, although I don't know if I actually ever finished that. But I was looking to kill the, the minions, the jungle creeps, faster because of being behind. You know, the razors and the lantern do more damage uh, even after they're... Uh, and there, again, I tried to jump to the standard. That never came out. The razor helps do more damage to the minions than anything else. So... I was really looking for that extra speed to clear and catch up, which I've done fairly well. At this point, I'm looking to, uh, of course, help Mundo. Uh, I move into the second bush. My nephew sets out a ward looking for Warwick, who we can see, uh, not see, but uh, we kind of get the idea that he's bottom. And I jump in with the standard because Vi has no way out. And I actually pick up the kill. Couldn't help that. You know, if you jump back, I would have rather Kili'i have gotten the kill. As I see the uh, engage there. And I do nail her down. Mundo's in there. She's going to pop her ulti with no other way out. And as you can see, that causes... Um, that causes Mundo to get no knocked out of my ultimate. And in turn, that means that he couldn't get the kill. So, I ended up... Uh, picking it up with a last auto attack but not terrible at least he got the assist the towers pushed up here she's gonna lose the CS uh, Fizz is missing but he I don't think he really wants to go top lane uh, he was trying to see if we were stealing we weren't but I don't think he really wants to go top lane because I'm still uh, good health and Mundo was still good health so that would have made uh, he, he probably would have escaped with Trickster and all that, but would have made life very difficult on him if he tried to get a kill on us. Now, I'm going to be honest. Because Ari's died twice, I don't want to give her blue. I really, really don't. You know, I, I'm, I've i called the, what Stonewall calls it, the triage on the buffs at this point. Uh, I can give red away to top, maybe. Or, you know, the ADC I still wouldn't mind because she's only died once. And that was with a gank down there, but to blue, the blue to mid, eh, I'm not looking favorably on that. Especially from the fact I still feel behind. Even though with that kill, um, you know, I'm really um, not 59 to 55. And he's got a giant spell, and, you know, he's a little bit more ahead in the items, I think. 
Oh no, I picked up level two boots, so yeah, we're you know we're pretty much close. You know, we're pretty much even at this point. I'm a few creeps, a few creep kills behind, and that's about it. So yeah, bottom lane has been pushed back, and I just want to take this tower at this point. I'm standing here for the inevitable, and there's the shark. But I immediately just jump in and start hacking him up. And the ult's going to go out but miss. I really want him. And I <laughs> that was a lucky stab right there. I do want to go back and look at that again. Tower goes down. He's running away. I flash in. There's Twitch starts hitting me. Dive back. I hit Twitch by accident. Jump on... Uh, Fizz and managed just to get a full length poke on him with the lance and that's enough to finish him off. Caitlyn wants to finish off Lulu and will be able to just barely with the last shot. Ari's coming in to try and uh, get Twitch. He barriers and at this point I go too far and I know I've gone too far and there's nothing I can do. I knew I went too far at that point. Warwick being a little too bold. But yeah, I knew I went too far at that point. Uh, going for Fizz. I really shouldn't... Uh, going for Twitch. I really shouldn't have, but... Still, two kills, one death, one assist. I've I pretty much caught up at this point. As again, they continue to hammer down Warwick for what it's worth. But... Again, I call this, you know, staying too long because, yep, here comes Fizz around the side. And I was pinging that that shit was coming, but it's kind of like they refuse to listen. And they're going to turn now onto Caitlyn, and she's going to die. So, again, staying too long. You didn't have much mana left. You didn't have much hitting power left. There was nobody close by to assist. It's time to back out. And unfortunately, they didn't. So looking top at this point, I wanted to come up and gank, but yeah, there's no need. Kili'i's caught up enough to where, um, you know, he can just mow things down. So we're looking to just push the tower down at this point. I shield up just to help tank the minions a little bit, you know. That's the only reason I shielded up there. But we're just pushing as hard as we can. We want to knock this tower down and free up Kili'i from the lane. Not bad for being DC'd as long as I have. Well, yeah, 12 to 9. <laughs> and we do. We successfully take the top tower and bullet down pretty well. And so now we're only down one kill and we've actually got two towers. So we've not only closed the kill gap, but we've, what we've taken over the gold lead mind you by barely anything but we have taken over the gold lead Ari has been begging for a uh, gank so I do decide to finally come in and that's gonna succeed in nothing and Ari goes too far but fortunately Fizz misses the fish uh, Vi does come in but it's not gonna be enough and we do get the turret bottom now uh, they do get the turret bottom but they end up dying, both of them. Losing one for a turret is okay. Losing two for a turret, now you're starting to stretch it a little bit. You know, I'm wanting my nephew to come in and help, and he does. Uh, you know, having a Mundo around is just um, <laughs> just that good, especially when that Mundo's gotten pretty farmed up. I don't know what I'm looking for to build at this point. I think it may be... Um, I might just go straight Frozen Mallet, something I haven't built in, like, ages, but we shall see. I already have the Phage. I'm not sure if I'm going for Frozen Mallet or if I'm going for um, Trinity Forest. Oh, Giant's Belt. I'm going for Frozen Mallet. So we've evened up the kills. We still have a one turret lead, but we've lost the gold lead again, but only by a very small amount. Looking to put a lot of pressure on the mid lane, maybe? Nope, guess not. I should have known that the dragon would go early. 
even if these two weren't here, Twitch and uh, Lulu, yeah, Warwick can still take that dragon by himself. So, yeah, Caitlyn ends up going down. I'm trying to come in and help turn this around. Uh, I'm calling for Kili to come down again. I'm trying to stay back, although I know they can see me. I'm looking for a good Cataclysm. I think that's what his ulti's called, isn't it? Cataclysm? Yeah. I'm looking for a good uh, Cataclysm opportunity, but one really doesn't present itself. And fortunately, we get them to back off the mid turret. I figure with Caitlyn and with Ari, uh, we really don't need that much of a like bruiser kind. So I'm definitely looking to go like full on uh, tank at this point. You know, frozen mallet for the slows, and you know whatever else. He'll probably build um, sunfire cape if I remember right. You know, I'm looking for that full on tank build. See what are we look at. Oh yeah, I know that uh, Twitch and them are on their way up. I thought they might try and go around blue, but they don't. They just come up in the lane, and beautiful cataclysm. But I drop it right away for whatever reason. I think I was just trying to scare them off because we didn't have Ari in the fight and we didn't have Mundo in the fight. And it almost resulted in Twitch's death. If I had actually held the Cataclysm for a little bit longer, Twitch probably would have died. <coughs> Pardon me. And then just coming in like like a avalanche from the side, just coming straight in his Mundo. And he's just he's just like tanking everybody. And I flash in and get the last hit on Vari. And looking for the kill on Lulu, just not going to happen. Continuing to tank the tower and yeah, the, the 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 strength of a mundo under his ulti just come blowing in like a hurricane and run everyone down. And trying to scare them off the tower at this point. At this point, I know I'm gonna die, but I just wanted to try and keep them back from my team just a little bit longer so we could get the tower. Whether I actually needed to do that or not. I don't know, but at the time it felt like what I needed to do, so that's what I did. I just pushed in, I was like, fine, I will die as long as we get the tower. Again, trading one death for a tower, very worth it. So I was okay with this, but I actually, even then, didn't know if I needed to do it. You know, I probably could have just walked away without even having to go in as far as I did and we would have been fine and gotten the tower anyways but yeah it's too late so I already go up and build the frozen mallet so now when I start hitting someone they're not going to be able to walk away they're going to be forced to flash they're going to be forced to burn escapes or they're not going to get away this is something I really need to build more often when I go tanky red buff you see how long it's taking me to <laughs> take that down because I do no damage I should have given it to Caitlyn but Caitlyn was over the other side so I just decided to take it and blue buff again I could have donated it to Caitlyn but I, again I end up taking it for myself they're putting pressure on the mid lane again and I had no idea there's a ward here so they know I'm there and I kind of start getting the sense at one point that they might know I'm there. And here's, you know, here, here's where I start getting the idea when I, when I start seeing this. And Ari just does a beautiful job. Just look at that. And I, I didn't mean to slow it down. I actually meant to jump back. As you can see here, Ari does a beautiful job. They're, you know, they're, they're all coming in. And she throws out the charm, which hits no one. Then she ulties. They all turn around and group together. And I see how perfectly they are. So I knock them all up and just, boom, jump in with an automatic cataclysm. Fizz is forced to run automatically. Lulu uses her ulti on herself and still ends up dying. 
Twitch is in trouble. I'm continuing to hammer away on Twitch. I get suppressed by Warwick, but Twitch is not going to get away. Fizz didn't get away. Even though we do end up losing Caitlyn, and I end up going down, but Warwick's by himself at the moment. Vi is trying to come in and help him, but it's not going to be enough. And she turns around when she realizes that if she goes in, she's just going to add another kill. And she does a smart thing and bails out. But you saw that perfect dragon. Everyone turned and tried to collapse in on Ari, and the second they did that, they were all grouped together. I think I only missed one with my uh, Dragon Strike combo. Um, and then I cataclysmed and pretty much trapped all of them in my uh, cataclysm. And Fizz was immediately forced to bail out and, do and ended up dying anyways. Uh, Lulu popped her ulti on herself and ended up dying almost immediately afterwards. You know, so we did lose a couple. We ended up losing two, but we took down four of them. So it was a really beautiful play. Um in terms of Ari just baiting them in and the team making the mistake of grouping up. They had this ward right here. They knew I was standing here. Why they went this way and then turned into me is beyond me. They should have... I was completely clueless. They could have easily just turned into me and forced me out this way and Ari would have gotten out this way, but they went for Ari looking for a kill and it just didn't pay off. And Fizz is just going to get sniped out. And they're going to try and turn around on uh, Warwick and Vi, but it's not going to work. I'm trying to come in to help as they're continuing to chase. And then they see me show up. I go for Warwick, but it doesn't happen. I Cataclysm Vi down. I'm taking um, damage from Twitch, but not as much as you think I would. And then I'm forced to back out as I got another giant spell. And Vi decides to continue the chase. It does absolutely nothing. And let me back up again. I know that this may get annoying at times, okay? But you see here, right at this point, low health, low health, full health, yeah? Low health, low health, low health. All three of these guys are low health. You know, we still, you know, even low health, I still have a fair amount of health. You know, Ari's the only one that m you might be able to kill. So Lulu is there, but Lulu's the support. They continue to chase, and I'm like, okay. A couple shots on Vi, even though she gets ultied, it's just not going to be enough, and she's going to get taken out. So that evens up the numbers. Now, remember, they only have a support in Lulu. So now Warwick's going to suffer that out as well, and he's going to end up giving up a double kill, and then Twitch and Lulu are going to end up running away. You know, we had our ADC... Our tank bruiser, and, oh, I'm, <laughs> Caitlin managed to snipe off Twitch there. And I'm not going to go roll back that one, but that was pretty cool considering Lulu could have blocked it. I guess the miscommunication there on where to go. But, yeah, as I, as I was saying, we had our ADC, our AP mid, and our tank, and one of our tanks in that one spot. They had their ADC, their jungler, who's definitely not as good as, uh, as you know, tank-wise as Jarvan is. Warwick is just not. And they had Vi, who, although really good, was extremely low health. So, she ended up dying almost immediately, even despite the Lulu ult. And then Warwick suffered as well, because he was already low health. And again, we have our ADC. We have, we have the charm in Ari. We have the damage in Ari. We have a lot of damage in Caitlyn. So they would have been much better off just letting us go. But they thought they had numbers. They thought they could pick off a kill. And it just proved they couldn't. They were too low. I have Too many times I've seen teams pull that. And to be honest, this includes my own team. When you're low health... And you're chasing lower health, you know, you're chasing low health, but you don't realize that the sudden damage that can be done to you if that other team turns around with all their cooldowns up. Because most of the time you can't react to it fast enough. It just turns around and comes at you suddenly. Especially in that situation where we had bush coverage. They didn't know that we were going to turn around and come back on them until Vi had walked into the bush and by that point was already too late. By that point we were already downing Vi, which evened up the numbers. Now, I see this 
big mashup going on down here. I know Twitch is coming up. And they are suffering right now. They are down. I know Twitch is there. But Twitch actually turns off seeing that things are not going well in their favor. As they get two down. And yep, three down. I managed to get in a Dragon Strike right at the end there. Uh, to help save Ari. I don't know if it fully saved her or not. But I managed to get close enough to get a Dragon Strike. And I knocked up Vi. Which, um... You know, helped, um... Ari get away. Now, this is where Twitch becomes, uh... Again, he's, a uh, Pretty decent at get the hell off my tower. As he's clearing out the minions. Plus, he has a minion wave to back him up. And there's Warwick as well. I'm just, you know, pinging, you know what, back off. Ari's low, and Sona doesn't have much mana. And this Ari right here is really ticking me off. It would not take much for um, Warwick to come up and hit a suppress on her. And between Warwick and Twitch, just kill her. And so I just decided to leave, and I even told Gunda uh, over, the, um, over Skype... If she dies, I'm not helping. You know, if she gets caught, I'm not coming back to help. I've pinged back the hell off, and she didn't. Uh, yeah, I finally built Regal's Lantern at 30 minutes into the game. <laughs> uh, because, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, I have a second Giant's Belt, and I also, also bought Cloth Armor. I believe I may be looking for Rand Dunes uh, instead of going with the Sunfire Cave this time. Because I want to have that uh, slow debuff for Twitch. Which I'm actually getting better at remembering to use the items in my inventory. Not great, but better. You know, it's like some playthings after over a year and a half of playing have finally started to click. And this time I know that there's a ward there. And there's actually no need for me to worry too much. Again, Vi is going for Ari. And I try and cut it off. And we just managed to kill her before she can kill Ari. So again, working in our favor. Twitch is low health. Thanks to being harassed down. And Lulu's very low health. So at this point, it's just waiting for Caitlyn. I have no idea what Twitch was thinking. That he could pull off and eat a quick easy kill. And Warwick again, same thing. Diving for the kill, Lulu gets too close, and then all this left is Twitch. Um, yeah, Twitch, and he's just gonna get annihilated. So I don't know what they were thinking there. First, Fizz thinks he can pick up a quick kill and get out. Doesn't happen. Then Warwick comes in with a suppress to get a quick kill. Doesn't happen. And that, and then Lulu was too close. She got caught with almost no health. And I don't know. I really just don't know. You know, that really comes to one of those moments where you say, What were they thinking? You know? We did clear out the, um, up to the inhibitor. I knew we wouldn't have time to take it. But had I been paying attention, we m should have pressed this tower as well. Because with this many minions around, we they would have had to have been clearing this and here. We could have chanced going for this tower. As you see, with just the minions, it's already lost a good, uh, I'd say, third of its health. So, yeah, that was uh, maybe not the best decision, but at least it was a safe decision. And I do pick up the Warden's Mail, so I am looking for Randoons at this point. I'm not overly concerned about Fizz when it comes to me. Yes, Fizz can do a lot of damage, but I don't think he's a huge concern right now. He has a Lich Bane... But that's it. He has a Hextech. He has a Chalice. He has a Fiendish Codex. He doesn't have a Rabadons. Uh, and he really doesn't have that much damage. Of course, neither does our mid. But still, with the CS that he has, and with the farm that he has, uh, and the, uh, rather the kills that he has, he, sh I would think, would have a Rabadons at this point, or at least be building towards it. But he didn't, so his damage is much lower than I feel that it should have been at this point in the game. You know, Ari's gone more survivability, uh, magic resist, health, 
she's also got her magic penetration boots with home guard. We're looking to try and pick somebody off, and Fizz is going to face check, and we're going to just work on knocking him down. Cataclysm, but he skips out. I really want that Fizz. And Mundo turns around there, my nephew, and picks him off. And I knock up Vi, but I was actually aiming for Warwick. I'm not going to be able to slow down Vi long enough as Warwick goes down and Lulu goes down and then Twitch follows and that's it. So despite being down, um, let's see, the Golems spawn at two minutes. So despite being out the game for almost two minutes, uh, managed to uh, come back farming in the jungle, managed to catch up, got some good ganks in there. Made a couple silly decisions, but for the most part, it worked out pretty well as I turned in a 5-3-16 performance with 126 CS. I far outstripped Warwick on the comeback. Um, you know, again, we were very reliant on our um, top and Kali'i at 8-0. Uh, not bad for also being out two minutes. Uh, Caitlyn did fairly well also at 6-6. Six and six. We even got four kills on our uh, support. And Ari coming back go positive 4, 2, and 14. Um, you know, just holding it together, making um, you know decent engages, good disengages, versus a team that oftentimes would, went a little too far, went a little too hard, uh, didn't back off, and made some poor decisions. I kind of like to think that it's not just the fact that we made a nice, uh, strong comeback in terms of the fact that two of us DC'd for two minutes, but that the other team made some poor choices and actually helped hand the game over as well. But still, it's a decent video in terms of even if you have a rough start because you have no real start for two minutes, don't give up. Get in there. Get your farming going. Try and make something happen, and you can come back pretty well. So until next time, folks, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. This is one big bugger. This was Jungle Jarvan, and I shall see you next time.